side welcome back to my youtube channel and today i will discuss about how we can customize the step chart or how we can extend the step chart in omni studio with also digital source so you can see in 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 this video in this ppt on uh, this one uh, screenshot added step one step two step three so step chart is nothing but it show you at which particular step you are in and how many other steps are left to complete one particular application or a form okay so i will just move on to my org so this is my org and here you can see this is a step first name last name email is provided and this is the step chart and this is out of the box feature of omni studio velocity and it's showing that i am at the customer details step and when i will provide the information and when i click next it will move to this uh, particular step so it's showing that uh, give contact details step is uh, I'm, I'm at the second step and the name of the step is give contact details so now if there's a requirement you wanted to extend this you wanted to change the color you wanted to change the feature of this step chart which is provided by velocity then how you can do that okay so you can see uh, so one of the problem that i was facing and the client was asking me to do is like you can see i'm at the step number one customer details but when i when i move next the name of the first step is uh, is is removing from from the ui but it will only render when i will hover it and when i'm going previous the second step name is removing you can see my cursor the name is removing so the client wants me to render all the step name uh, like no matter at which particular step i am i am providing the information they want all the step name to be rendered together all together okay so how we can extend this okay so uh go back to my ppt so to extend the step chart we have to create two lwc okay one is uh, for step chart like this you have to write down a custom lwc for the step chart and second lwc is for the step chart item okay so the second lwc will be extending inside first lwc okay so and this name of the lwc you have to give in your uh, setup of the omni studio so i'm repeating again you have to create two lwc one is for step chart and second for step chart item and first step chart lwc name you will refer in the setup and this lwc will be extend in in the first lwc okay so i will give you the reference of my org so you can see i have created a step chart one two three so this is nothing but this is my first lwc for the step chart you can see in my sjs i am just a second i am importing the omniscript step chart okay and and i'm extending step chart as well okay so this is my first lwc where i'm uh, making my i'm extending the step chart okay and i'm what i am doing i've just uh, copy the html from this folder so i have already discussed about like how we can get the html and uh, js thing for while extending the lwc so if you have not uh, watched my video so go back uh, to my youtube channel and watch how to extend the omniscript using lwc you will get to know that so this is the folder and when i'm going to step chart so here is if i click this so this is okay this is the css okay so this is the html so i just copy this html and i have pasted in this step chart lwc okay and i just make one changes i just removed c omniscript 2 i make these changes like i removed c omniscript 2 c step chart that's it and i just keep all the html same which i received from this folder and then i have just using like uh, i just import the template and i have using the render uh, hook, callback sorry uh, this uh, render hook i just running this template that's it okay but i am extending the step chart item as well okay so i am make the changes in the step chart item so this is my step chart second lwc as per my ppt i told you that you have to get the second lwc as well which will be ex getting extended in the first lwc this is my second lwc and it is getting extended in my first lwc and uh, in the js home for my 
second lwc i am importing step chart item so how i will get to know like like which item i have to import like how i will know about the syntax so for that what you have to do you have to go to this folder only step chart items you can see and this is the readme file and here it's mentioned this home step chart item so this is the syntax that you have to mention while you are importing the uh, element so i am importing this and i'm extending in the home script base mixing and in the xml you have to provide the namespace as well okay and uh, again i make i take this html from here this vertical html sorry the horizontal html i just copy and paste here and i make some changes uh, i basically uh, make this diff i added uh, one div check i basically added this div div check so that when i'm moving from one step to another step the name will always render it will not get removed so this is the changes i make in the html i will provide you this both of the lwc a link like uh, my github uh, link i will just share in the comment box you can access both of the lwc okay so again i'm repeating how you can extend the step element you have to create two lwc one is for the step chart and uh, lwc and second is step chart item so for the step chart you have to just go to this folder and you have to search for step chart you have to copy the html from here you have to paste here and then in the js you have to import a step chart and a step chart items here you have to extend and you have to import the template the same html and then you are using the render callback you have to render it and the second lwc you have to create which will extend the step chart items as it's mentioned here step chart items and so and you have to import a step chart items and again this syntax will come from this the folder there is a file called readme from this you will get to know which element you have to import and then you have to render it so now go back to my org so previously uh, you know like if i have not so the, as of now i have not activated this so so whatever the step chart is coming renting in the omni script it is out of the box when i'm clicking next this text is removing right so this is out of the box but i'm once i will activate this just wait it will take some time to export the lwc i'm interested in deploying the lwc okay it's done so before making this video i already given the reference so what you have to do you have to give the reference of first lwc not the second lwc so first lwc name is step chart one two three and here in this you have to go to the setup of your own script and you have to create one you have to create this new element for this element type of lwc component mapping you have to give this name of the element name step chart and in the lwc component you have to provide the name of the first lwc which is extending both item and and the step chart the step chart and step chart item i am giving the reference and i have activated this uh, omni script and now let's preview so you can see this the name of the second is already rendering i am at the first step but it's second name uh, second step name is also rendering in the step chart when i am moving next this name name is not removing because i have done the changes in my step chart item okay that's it please subscribe my channel if you wanted to learn something more about velocity and some other things how we can extend the lwc component uh, omniscript element thank you